I've been growing trees uh, for 25 years. We've got a tree nursery, and we grow native trees and fruit trees. But we've also got a, a piece of land, quite a large piece of land with a lot of uh, orchard planting. And I, I'm amazed at um, Stefan's um, th this way of lateral thinking, uh, solving problems. And, and I was sort of sceptical about whether the Canadian Montreal model would fit to ours, but, but I, I think it does. And, and I just love it. I, I just, I've learned so much. I learned from the French to do training versus pruning. Why? The obvious reason was it takes me as long to train it once as it does to prune it once. Once I've trained it, every branch that I've trained, I never or very rarely have to prune after. So it's up to you. When do you want to spend time on it? I've reduced my pruning by 80%. 80% is substantial when you go over the space of an orchard. We've been gardening for six and a half months. <laughs> we, we, we're constantly running into problems, whether it be rabbits, whether it be um, ants or pests, um, having to net trees that seem like problems. And, and um, Stefan has taught us to not think of those as problems. Don't think of the problems, think of the solutions, mm -hmm. which is a huge shift in mindset, but is quite inspiring. I think just giving you the confidence to know that anything that seems like a problem can actually be a really cool challenge and a way to be creative and um, also we just reach out to your community and just say, hey, have you experienced this, this issue before? And then all of a sudden you have one new friend who's helping you figure this this thing that seemed like a huge problem out together. Yeah, he, he's extremely knowledgeable, but he, he doesn't um, force it at you. Yeah, he, he makes warm. you want to take it yeah. in. So I grew up in the King Country on a sheep and cattle farm, so I'm um, very much, I feel like a, a rural country girl, even though I left um, the farm when I was uh, 17, and I've been in urban areas ever since. Got a property of our own, got five and a half acres, um, it's, um, I have horses, uh, so there's some of that is taken up with uh, grazing paddocks, and we also have um, two, a lot of vegetables, and grow a lot of vegetables, and citrus, and olives, and feijoas, and nut trees. We have a, a lot of varieties of trees on the property. So we're still developing it, so it gave us a lot of different ideas of how to connect the, um, and complement the um, the trees and the um, uh, plants that we're growing. He kind of practices what he preaches about, you know, smart work and taking time out and not worrying about things, turning things into an advantage, and that definitely was kind of the style that he had in his workshop as well. This morning we got a, uh, a hands-on demonstration of grafting, which was really neat. I've never seen that in person before. And uh, we learned a bit about sheet mulching, which I've done a bit of before, but it's it's really good to see it happening sort of <laughs> with many, many people. It's very, very fast that way. But I've found his presentation to be terrific. I think he's, he's explained it in terms that we can understand. And um, okay, there's, 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 there are technicalities there that, that need to be learned, but he's given us the the building blocks to, to work on. He's a very learned, um, experienced man. He's very good at, him, at, at sharing that knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's funny too. Yeah, yeah, he's very funny. Yeah, enjoy that. <laughs> Thank you.